friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this patient has nuclear cataract associated with coloboma iris coloboma choroid involving macula and you can see there is microcornea diameter of this cornea is about 8 mm the pupil has dilated well about 7 mm and now let us observe this surgery this is the main incision just posterior to the limbus and now one side port is being made on the left side of the main incision i attempted to do another side port but i thought of doing it later and now i'm going to inject an air bubble there is some vitreous upthrust so the air bubble doesn't stay trypan blue dye has been applied over the anterior capsule and after about 15 seconds the dye is washed out and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and you see the iris has disappeared it means the capsular bag size of the capsular bag is okay the iris root is covered by the sclera and now see the rexus with the iterator forceps capsular tag is raised by the iterator forceps itself and the capsular tag is guided anti clockwise all around and an adequate sized rexis is done size of this rexis is about 5.25 mm and now hydro dissection and hydro delineation this is hydro dissection and this is hydro this is hydro delineation the nucleus of this cataract is small and hard but the periphery the epinucleus and cortex is very soft so the tip of the phaco needle goes in the nucleus stands and it is cracked and emulsified since there is vitreous upthrust i am taking adequate caution not to catch the posterior capsule i am always at the central part and now i make the bevel down let the epinucleus come and immediately i make the bevel up as soon as the epinucleus comes to the tip and now visco is injected This is a 23 gauze Simco cannula. The cortex is being removed with the help of this Simco. Most of the cortex. This is the cortex from the colobomatous area. Sometimes there is genular dehiscence at the region of the coloboma. we can see genular coloboma but in this case it doesn't appear 
that there is coloboma of the jonior. And now I am going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of the cortex from the superior aspect. Irrigation from the left side and aspiration from the right and the cortex is removed. And now this is polishing of the posterior capsule now the capsular bag and anterior chamber is filled up with 2% ASPMC again the iris disappears so the size of the capsular bag is almost normal. This is enlargement of the main incision a little bit so that I can use a B cartridge the lens being implanted in this case is Technis 1 from Janssen and Janssen The leading haptic goes in, goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is depressed to place it in the capsular bag. So the lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag since the size of the bag is almost normal the lens could be easily accommodated in the capsular bag. And now I am dialing the lens in and I want to keep this lens in this position. Then the lower haptic, the haptic which is now at 7 o'clock will support the colobomatous area. And now the visco from the bag and from the anterior chamber is partly removed by this Simco cannula. And now I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration. Irrigation first. The irrigating probe goes behind the eye well and thorough removal of visco is done. Irrigation and aspiration is used together. Now before I remove the irrigation I want to inject some air so that the antechamber remains formed. Otherwise there is a yes, lot of leakage of fluid from the right side port because the right side port is small and whenever there is stress of a side port with bimanual irrigating probe or aspirating probe the leakage of fluid is immediate. Now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Again the capsular bag is irrigated once the lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence. Be better and 
do better.